Hello, I am Dorior and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod as the Greyjoys. Well, I started as Balon, then we were Theon for a while and now we are Euron Crozai, Greyjoy, uh, which I actually like, he's amazing. And finally our wife is pregnant, so yeah, kudos to us, we might get some kids. I would really like to get some uh, genius concubines, but we will work on that after the war. We technically have 100% war score, so we could mm, enforce demands. However, if I understand this correctly, I don't know if I understand this correctly, I might not. Um, if we do that, we will assume control of all the territory that we have taken, as well as the title of the Lord Paramount of the Westerlands. Now, my domain goes up to 5. And I would like to fill it. So if I understand this correctly, we would only get uh, Castle Rock independently. Now, that won't do. I want some money. So let's find some provinces that have very high um, income and take them. Although I could do go with the Jour High Lordships. Yeah, just take everything in the High Lordships. And so my future vassals won't have too much problem, uh, too much trouble with accepting my overlordship that might actually be the good choice or i could just go with the economic choices let me see those are actually probably richer if i go to the economic map mode that's poor that's good that's good that's good castle really rock itself is quite poor but the castle itself is developed and that is what matters most you know what i'll probably just take the four things into the jour high lordship or however that is called so let's go and conquer some land. Oh, I have it on speed 4, that's way too much. And you know, those guys will try to take Casterly Rock back. Should probably deal with that. Oh crap, they assaulted. Well, if they assaulted and won so easily, I will be able to do the same thing. What? What? We have gotten pox. Oh crap. Okay. Um, it can be lonely during a long campaign, so who can blame man for having someone to warm his bed at night? Although it turns out my liaisons has resulted in a child. Um, okay, show me that son. He's an attractive bastard. Sure. What of it? She should be honored. No character adopts him. Oh, we can... We can adopt him. Him. And the queen will be angered. Well, she likes me, so it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, let's take him. We finally will have a son. I can legitimize him, I believe. Then we would have mm, an heir. Wait a minute, am I about to lose this? No, no, I am not. Okay, this was quite difficult. I should end this war quickly. I need to retake Castle Rock. Oh, we got new, a new option of taking a concubine. But none of them are appealing, so there's no need for it. As we have imprisoned Tyrion Lannister, we can just end the war, but I really, really want... Uh, Dorna Swift, yeah, let her rot. I really want to take some more land. Mm, Alright. I'll need half of this army to maintain the siege here. Oh, who wants to kill me? Is he my vassal? He is a vassal of my vassal. And plot, can I imprison him? Yes, I can. Thank you, Spymaster. Perfect. Yes, I can call him for trial. I will not do that yet. I'm busy. I'm busy warring. Oh, this has 4,000 garrison. It will be quite problematic to take it. If we if we risk being... Uh, uh, if we are in... Um, if we are at risk of being attacked by a huge army, I will just uh, end the war right there and then. You're great. For some time now, I have been in the employ of Lord Harren. Who, who does he want to be? He wants to be Castellian. He wants to be Castellian. But why do you want to be Castellian? Where? Wait a minute. Castellian is. Mm, joins the court. Lord Steward. 
What? You're not going to be Lord Steward. Your stewardship is crap. No. Do whatever you want. Okay, we have a kid. Is he good? He is attractive, which is nice. Uh, Quellen Greyjoy. Sure. We have an heir, finally. Uh, who are you fighting again? Mans Raider. Again. Sure, whatever. I will accept your call just to get... Although, yeah, 25 prestige, whatever. I will not accept your call. Oh, bloody hell. I really should end this war. Okay, let's just retake Casterly Rock and then end the war. Okay, do we stand? Do we have a chance of losing this? I don't think so. Okay, retake the castle. New concubine. Nope. May no forty-two. Fifty-two again. Is that the same same girls? Okay, let's just end this. Let's see what we take. We'll probably just get to Castle Rock. Okay, yes, that is it. We just took Castle Rock. That's unfortunate, but really couldn't couldn't continue this war for too long. I suppose I could have brought new troops. That might have been a mistake then. But I can I am now their lord. They will have to pay me taxes and I can revoke titles from them, can't I? What? Oh right, I can't. Um, I would lose that because because why? Does it is it Gabokai succession? Cognatic, cognatic primogenitor, and this is elective. I would like to change this to primogenitor. We would need to have or our vassals like us, which would be difficult. But we can do this. We're very rich. Okay, we need to reign for um, 10 years and then switch this to primogenitor, then we can keep our realms together. Alright, let's disband all the armies. And hire the troops as well. I shouldn't have disbanded the high troops, it doesn't really matter. Let's get the ships to port. Disband the ships as well. And we're good. Okay. Mm. Lord Tyrion the Imp. He is my vassal. His heir is Prince Tommen. Oh, that won't do, Tyrion. You need kids of your own if you are to be my vassal. I know you hate me, but still. He'll probably plot against me, which is problematic. Um, it's unfortunate that he was automatically... and that he is automatically released when the war ends. That must, might have been a mistake. Seahall of Castle Rock. I will uh, make this a new vassal. We are quite rich, so I don't really worry too much about us not having too much stuff in our domain. Um, okay, what can we do? We can get a commander and a sworn shield. Righteous imprisonment of a guy that we don't really want to imprison. Lordship of Dari. For whom? For Jane Dari, who is a vassal of my vassal, unlanded, so she would just get this stuff. She wouldn't be she wouldn't become my vassal, right? Yeah, she wouldn't. Okay then. So what we need to do is survive for ten years of rulership and then switch everything to primogenitor. Now, I will not be imprisoning you. Okay, so we have won the war. Mm. Let's let the game r uh, run for a few days and see what it uh, does in terms of, um, of story. Oh, War for Dornish Independence and Lord Aegon's War for the Iron Throne. Okay, do we get any story events? Why are you still fighting? Munda Harlow. Oh, that's my brother's widow. She's trying to, what? Establish a duchy, get a duchy, apparently. Okay, so you. How are you independent? Can I declare war on you? Invasion of the crossing. If we do that, right of conquest, we would take all occupied territory and become lord of the crossing. Yes, but let's let the month tick. See how much money we're making. Oh, and the crossing is no longer independent. What are the, um, the laws in this realm? 
civic and religion law slavery I will probably make it legal as it is legal in the Iron Isles might make the realm mm, succession change but it doesn't matter that much I suppose okay so how much am I getting from taxes feudal tax everybody hates me so they give me mm, very little money uh, we will rectify that when we have ruled for long enough and we have amassed enough prestige. Oh, Lord Kevin for Westerlands. Seriously? Can I make you uh, leave faction or whatever? Imprison. I can't do that. Pain. Oh, I'm gonna kill you someday. Yeah, probably, sh <laughs> probably what I should have done is just uh, endured through the war and invaded all the provinces. Just disbanded the troops and mm, raised them again. Invade all the lands and just take them for myself and then designate new vassals. That probably would have worked mm, out much better. Now, you are hostile to someone? No, you're just independent for some reason. You probably haven't dec uh, decided on civil war sides yet. I could invade the Riverlands, I believe. Let's just wait for our troops to recover a little bit. Because our vassal levies are way, way, way... ...below what they should be for us to start a new war. Let's see how much we recover every month. Probably should know that, but I don't. Okay, like around 2%. I mean, that's of course not, not, um, what's the word? It depends on the individual uh, counties from which the, the soldiers come. So, actually, it is not uh, indicative of how long it will take for us to recover all of those people. I could ask the Iron Bank for a loan, but I don't want to. Oh, I could ransom all prisoners. That could be good. Although I don't want to I don't want to ransom Gregor Clegane. I don't want him out of prison. I want him to stay there forever. Actually what I might want to do is throw him in the ob obluette. Where's Clegane? Who's your heir? Leah Clegane. Who is uh, strong and the giant, obviously. Oh, I didn't know he had a kid. He's an idiot, but he's also a very good dualist. Okay, let's not imprison anyone. I still don't know how those faithless things um, work exactly. Ask your leech to press one of your claims in war. Oh, he's my vassal. Hmm, I suppose I could probably use that later. Okay, uh, it's time to make my council do stuff. You should be forbidden from leading armies, but apparently you aren't. Master of Laws, what could you do? You could fabricate a claim for me. I don't need to do that, as I can pay the iron price. Mm. Captain of the Fleet, Cleft Jaw, you could train troops or children, or organize a raid. You know what? You should probably train children. Master of Coin, you could collect some taxes. Mm, that would be... Peasants are resisting, or you could attack. They could attack you. Sure, you go collect some taxes. Master of Whispers, Asha. You just scheme and make sure nobody kills me. And the Drowned Man, what can you do? You can build a zeal. Zealots rise, raised. Oh, that would be interesting. I do plan to go to war with infidels, so that might work. Let's see how this works. The Drowned God Loyalists and stuff. Lordship. Mm, I don't need to press claims. I can just invade. But for that, we need our troops to recover. So let's go to speed 4 and just deal with events for a while. Call Lord Marin Volmark for trial. What he is he in for, anyway? Oh, he plotted to kill me. Mm, sure, I'll probably... I'll, I'll kill him. What is that? Um, 
Harold Greatwood has occupied his rightful seat. I can give him some land. Um, Greatwood. Who is Lord Harold Greatwood? It's him. He is independent. Lord of the Seven Stars. Okay. So, if I do that, I will have a claim to press, and then I can press it and sail all, all the way here. I don't think I want to do that, though. I have other pressing matters to attend to. Sorry. Yes, I will interrogate Lord something something. Lord Maron of Vormark. Verdict has been reached. Lord Ray the Podrick proclaims Maron of Half mm, House of Vormark is innocent. Uh, he is the one who plotted to kill me, and he hates me so bloody much. I imprisoned him twice, and he has a claim on my titles. I don't want him out. Uh, but if I don't do that, I'll get tyranny. Oh shit. I should never have summoned him, I should have just left him there. He still hates me, and see, he still has a title. Um, Lord Reaver Roderick, he has factions. What factions do you have? Crown Loyalist. Oh, good, yes, do that. Iron King Euron, some among your subjects have been uh, found to pillaging my lands. No, Joffrey, screw you. Ha! Yeah, right, how are my troops doing? Am I close to getting my troops? Also, can I increase um, crown? Um, can I increase crown authority? Um, what would that change? Vassals. I could have less vassals. They would like me less, but I could get more levies. I don't think I need to do that. And then, if I go for very high authority, they cannot declare neutrality or act independent in wars. I suppose. Martin Lannister, I would gladly ransom you. Actually, I would like to ransom everyone but Clegane. He's the only one that they will pay ransom for, so it doesn't matter, I suppose. Um, you know what, I shall be merciful. Blood feuds doesn't really matter. Oh, we got old just the second. Fifty. Okay. Mela Hill has occupied your rightful seat. I don't want to do anything to help you. I have money, but that's my money. Uh, nope. They can raid. I don't give a crap. 60 fabricated claim on the... Okay, Sir Gareth. You will be imprisoned, Sir Gareth. Good riddance. I'll just keep you in jail forever. Oh, I could release someone so my all my vassals would love me, wouldn't they? I'm not sure. Let's, um, let's just release a random guy. Release from prison. And see if I get the merciful thingy. It used to change, I think. Let's go to my vassals. Do I get merciful? Short reign, cruel, brave. Desires the kingdom. I think I have to release someone more important for that to take effect. Like the one who just plotted against me. That was him, right? I mean, someone with a title. Not Clegane. Okay, I'll release him and see if I become merciful with my other vassals. Let's unpause this. No, I did not get that. Weird. Oh no, release prisoner. Yes, I get that. So if I release a different unimportant prisoner like her, do I get a bonus to that? It was six. And now it's going to be still six. So it only matters if the prisoner matters. Also, seems like I won't be able to institute the crown law unless I transfer some vassalages. Which might happen. Who knows? Alright, let's continue. 
Okay, do we want to ride north at dawn? Not really. 25 prestige is not a big price to pay for. Peace of mind. Asha wants to marry. Sure, let's actually do that. Who can I marry? Uh, not a lot of people, unfortunately. Oh, I could make her marry a prisoner. Like, no, no, it doesn't. It's not a good idea. Uh, someone good with good genetic traits. So you know what? Let's do it like that. We want some geniuses in the family. So what if we go for men, not married, any religion, any culture, genius of proper age who would join our court? Again, I'm not sure how to determine if they would join my court. Oh, Tristan, courtier in Corpse Lake. That's actually the only one. So theoretically, let's see. Captain of Wilding Raiders, interesting. Overseer of the Giants, really? Okay, Faris. Is sterile? Surely. He wouldn't be a good father of children. So, who could it be? How about you, Damien? Would you marry my niece? No, you would not. Would you come to my court? No, you would not. So I do have to look in my religion. And there are no geniuses apart from this little guy who is still young. So let's just go with high traits and good genetic stuff. Oh, you know what? We, when we actually went to her, uh, she had some options that were strong. And not too affectionate, really. Mm, let's let's do rank. Master Aldetta of Codhall. No, you suck. You're good, but old. There was someone strong. I could sw I could have sworn there was someone strong. Maybe I waited for too long. No, I'm sure there was someone. You're attractive. That could work still. Oh yeah, because we selected Matrilinia and it changed. Yeah, now now more are available because those guys became available. So you have good genetic traits. I do want more kids in the family. So it will be one of those three guys. Which one though? Mm, he has the best stats. And stats will be transferred to the kid partially. So I'll select this guy. Go do that. Um, in your custody for too long, he wants to pay the ransom. Sure, give me money. Okay, show me my armies. They are not ready yet. Oh, an unsuccessful, unsuccessful raid. That is unfortunate. Before I, okay, the Iron Throne has been consolidated a little bit more, so we will be invading the Reach probably. Who are you fighting? Doran Martel. And some internal wars as well. Doran. Hmm, I wish I could uh, join his war and help him. Yeah, let's let them all rot. Oh, someone will pay for you. Sure, here you go. Oh, that's the same guy. Uh, right then. Yes, I will ransom all your family members back to you. Not Gregor Clegain, though. He's the one I want to keep in prison. I could execute him, but there's no point when he is in my dungeons. Okay, Captain of the Fleet Dagmar. Dagmar. Let's come to you with a suggestion. Sir Gareth of Greenfield would make an excellent military commander. Show me, sir. Gareth of Greenfield. Wants me to make him a commander. Mm, let me see the titles. Commander. Do we have a commander? We do have a commander. Princess Asha the Kraken's daughter. What's your military skill? Her military skill is better. Uh, am I allowed more than one commander? 
am I? Um, okay, commander, commander, commander. We have oh, we have some commander seats. So who could I assign? Leo, Lord, who hates me, and this guy. Sure, I will assign him as a commander. Are we doing on money? Pretty well. Okay, Lord Kevin for the Westerlands. Um, we might need to fight them, but that will go a long way towards uh, stabilizing the region. Because we'll just um, de defeat them, kill them, and get their land. Okay, any more ransoms you might want to pay for my prisoners, Tyrion? Everyone but Gregor. Alright. And there's some independence stuff going on in the north, isn't there? Why are you fighting again? Recent uprising. Okay, you're fighting Lordship of something. So that's an internal matter, apparently. Okay. Hmm. Let's wait a little while longer and attack. Because we're almost full. Actually, the domain thing is not, but that's mostly Casterly Rock now. Um, yes, we have been pillaging your lands and we plan to continue doing that. Now, I think attacking the Reach could be better because they have been at war for a very long time and they might be quite exhausted with it. Let me see, do you have any allies? Pacts. Okay, he's allied to Joffrey. Actually, I'm not sure if Joffrey will automatically join this war if I attack him. Invasion of the Reach. We would become the new Lord Paramount. Hmm. This is very tempting. Uh, can I do that if I have... Uh, I don't know if they changed that. Can I do that if I have uh, levies raised? Let me check that. Because normally you can't, but I'm not sure if the mod removed that or not. Uh, it apparently did remove that. Okay. You guys stand down. Can I invade the reach with 20,000 people? That's that's doubtful. Mace, how many people do you have? Hmm, around the same number. Well, he is fighting in a different war at the same time. And we will be able to sail up river and just do whatever. So that could be useful. Then I'll be able to maybe usurp the Iron Throne for the Greyjoys. Okay, High Admiral. Who was High Admiral? Uh, that was not a council position, apparently. How are we doing with the factions? Not too well. Can I make you leave the faction? Arrange marriage, educate child, retract vassalage. By favor. 200 for leaving the faction. Hmm, interesting, but I don't think I want that. I could plot to kill him. How's, what, are, what are the chances? Not too good. Oh, I could plot to kill Lord Kevin. I should have killed all the Lannisters when I had the chance and they were in my dungeons. I didn't think of it. So, Kevin. Not too much. If I invite you to court, it will not work. If I imprison you, I will become tyrannical. Hmm, it's not going to work, will it? Or to kidnap. No, let's ignore them. We'll be able to beat them, I think, if anything bad happens. Okay. I think we're more or less ready to attack the Westerlands. Sorry, the, the Reach. Or possibly the Riverlands. Who is stronger? The Riverlands uh, have... The ruler of the Riverlands has more troops, and the Reach is dealing with a rebellion, so Reach seems like a better target. We could just go raiding, but we're pretty good on money. I think I'll actually get a mercenary army as well this time. Mm, last time we have had some heavy cavalry, and it was useful. You seem like you haven't recovered fully, have you? Hmm... Heavy cavalry. That's not a lot of heavy cavalry. And we will have some from the Reach. Okay, let's just get this mercenary company. Just one self-sword infantry. Just in case. Declare war on the Reach. See how it goes. 
I might make a mistake, but this is a warm-up campaign. Okay. I don't have enough piety to do that. Hmm, that is problematic. We need two things. We need more piety, which we will not get, probably, unless we try to buy it somehow or something. And we need a strong liege loyalist faction, so that will not work. That's a problem. All right, so let's maybe um, attack some smaller places, like this one. Invasion still won't work because we don't have enough piety. Uh, do you have claimants? No? Okay, so maybe let's go on a raving. We are ill. Oh, are we ill? Of course, we have pox. That's crap. Prince Theon. Oh, you've been busy. You have kids. All right. Um, sh we should probably deal with the succession thing then. Let's just sit on our behind and make sure that everybody likes us for a little while. Okay, Septon Tillan, the fight of the Seven, has declared fate of the Seven revolt against Iron King Euron Crozai on Iron King Euron Crozai. Okay, something is happening, actually. Militant Septon, I will kill them. And you will go in the Obliwet, Mr. Clegane. We want you... Now, let's just keep him the way he is. He's actually mm, more valuable to us alive and in, mm, in a dungeon than dead. Oh, crap, I forgot to hold control. That doesn't matter that much. I will stand you down. And only use the guys that are on the continent. So that will give me a rough idea of how many troops we have. Okay, you guys get here. So we can kill the bloody Septon. Ah, priests. Don't you just hate them? Okay, my concubine Melissa is with child. I could get some more concubines. And a kid needs a guardian. Where's Gravik? Oh, here he is. Wait a minute, is he not my vassal? Why is he not my vassal? Is that because he's, he's not fighting anyone? Weird. So he still didn't. It still didn't automatically revert back to us after the war, or did, did he declare independence and I missed that? It's, <laughs> I have no idea. Oh yeah, and there's a kid lacking a guardian, which is our um, our nephew. I will educate a child. Where's that? Where is that option? Again, let's click this. Okay, mm, land the title. Ex permission for heritage focus. Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. We are the king. Oh, this is the focus I need to do. Right, that change in the patch. Um, sure, as you are an ironborn, you will be educated in fighting. The way of the fist, apparently. Okay, guys. Where he seeks to replace Princess Asha Grejo as Master of Whispers. Well, if he can do that, that's actually the ultimate test of skills. If you can outspy the Spy Master, you can be the new Spy Master. I think that's fair. Let's go kill the Septon. I don't want to ride north. Screw that. Where's that Septon? Let's kill him. Kill the priest. Oh, he went that way. And he's defeated. 
Uh, Gil's foreign attack on an enemy merchant fleet seemed foolhardy, as the enemy merchant were too well armed for him to take their gold. Okay, uh, <laughs> finally something's happening. Kevin Lannister for the Westerlands. Rebellion. And he is being drowned. So, from the books, if you didn't read the books, um, because I don't think it was actually shown in the movie, the ceremony is they actually drown the guy and the drowned god, the deity of the Iron Isles, um, sort of resurrects them. And that's how you become a priest, or a very devout guy, I think. So, you, yeah, you basically have to die. Okay, where's that rebellion? Here's that rebellion. Oh, that's a big rebellion. Fortunately, we did get some troops ready. And I can get more. Okay, you guys all go here. And the ones from the Iron Isles I'll gather. And then use. Yes, we want that, and we can call in allies. Lord Reaver, I'm, I'm still not sure why he isn't my vassal. As he should be, shouldn't he? Because this is um, this is du jour, Kingdom of the Iron Isles. Why don't I have a Cass's belly against him? I must be missing something. If you know what, tell me in the comments. I'll probably read it after a few episodes, because I am um, recording them in batches. However, well... I'm not sure. I will banish him to the Night's Watch. That's the Septon that we that we captured because I want more piety, so that I will be able to invade a place. And I will should I call this guy to war? Seek redress uh, from alliance. Offer vassalization. Oh, finally, yes, become my vassal. Perfect. Can I now raise your troops? Yes, I can. That was much better. I don't know why he wasn't my vassal. He should have been. Okay, let's get some fleet levies. Don't need any more than those guys. You... Oh, you didn't get ships. Weird. All right. You will go pick up this army. And the rest of you will go pick up this army. In a second. Let's let those ships go away. Now, Asha has a daughter. Uh, right, so I need to click the boat first and then shift drag. Perfect. Uh, now, did I... Oh, crap, I forgot to assign... Mm, commanders. Well, it's not a big problem since... Mm, Oh, that's why I need commanders. Of course I do. Mm, I need to assign someone as a commander so that they can command my armies. Okay, let's let's assign some commanders. So that just we have the options to choose from. Okay, we will command it on our own, so we might get some nice bonuses. I do hope to not die. And the flanks will be commanded by those high, high-ranking guys. And let's go around kill some troops. We should be able to do it without any major trouble. Also, I will decrease the speed since we're fighting. And this episode is way too long now, so I'll end it here. And in the next one, I will be confiscating their lands and getting more money. And hopefully invading the reach or the riverlands thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did click the like button if you didn't tell me why and if you have any mm, comments uh, please let me know because i am new to this mod i'm still learning it all right thank you for watching again and see you soon